we shall deal two or three problems right on effect two resistance first problem right these are the two resistances calculate the effect two resistance between a and b right in doing so what is the first value resistance r what is the second value resistance r what is the effect two resistance now this is called initial point this is called final point from the initial point let us consider current current has a unique path as the current has a unique path it is said to be series as the current divides it is said to be parallel now your current i here is also current i both are said to be in series therefore rs rs is equals to what to say r1 plus r2 r1 is equals to r r2 is equals to r therefore rs is equals to what to say to r right in the second problem let us consider now here there is a resistance here there is a resistance here is also there is a resistance right this is the arrangement now this is called point a this is called point b what is the effective resistance between the a and b points now let us consider the current current i here the current i this is called junction at the junction current is going to divide i1 at the junction current is going to divide i2 what is the resistance value here resistance r2 that is the current passing through the first resistance i1 as the current passing through the second resistance i2 generally here the current is distributed what is the current first resistance i1 what is the current second resistance i2 as the current is distributed they are said to be in parallel therefore that is rp is equals to that is r1 into r2 by that is r1 plus r2 what is r1 value r r2 value r therefore r1 value r r2 value r therefore that is r square by 2r therefore r r gets cancelled what to say r by 2 that is two equal resistances are connected in series double to r two equal resistances connected in parallel that is becomes half r by 2 now second third problem let us consider now here like this now there is a resistance the arrangement is like this what is the effect to resistance between the terminals a and b right what are the resistance values r and r r in this case according to the current distribution problem according to the current distribution method this is called current i here the current distributes current distributes that is i1 and i2 therefore i1 current what is the current i1 here is also what is the current i2 that is i2 is coming like this i1 coming like this both are combined to form as a i therefore here what is the current i1 here is also what is the current i2 between these two current has a unique path therefore these two resistances are said to be in series then the circuit becomes now the circuit becomes this is like this right now this is called a point this is called b point these two are in series r1 plus r2 r plus r that equals to 2r this will remain same right now what is the current passing through this one that is i1 what is the current passing through this one i2 what is the total current i what is the total current i now here 2r through the 2r i1 is there through the r i2 is there currents are different currents are distributed as the currents are distributed they are said to be in parallel therefore that is rp is equals to that is r1 into r2 by r1 plus r2 that is what is r1 value that is 2r what is r2 value r r1 is equals to 2r r2 is equals to r therefore 2 into r square by 3 into r therefore r r gets cancelled therefore effective resistance is equals to what do you say 2 by 3 r the effective resistance 
R P is equals to 2 by 3 R. Now next problem that is fourth problem. Now right let us consider this is the first resistance. Now this is the second resistance right and there is a another resistance like this another resistance this is called A and this is called B that is R that is R and R. Now by observing this directly right this R and R what to say these two are said to be in parallel therefore these two are said to be in parallel these two are said to be in parallel this is called point A this is called point B this is represented by R these two are said to be in parallel these two are in set to be parallel equal resistances are said to be in parallel that equals to R by 2 that is R by 2 between these two current has a unique path therefore these two are said to be in series once again therefore RS is equals to what to say R1 plus R2 plus R Therefore, that is Rs is equals to what to say 3R by 2, right? Next fifth problem, right? These three resistances are connected, three resistances are connected on the sides of a equilateral triangle. Calculate the effective resistance across any one of the resistance. Now, let us consider this is the resistance, this is the resistance, this is the resistance. Now this is the resistance, right? Now R resistance, R resistance, R resistance. Three resistances are arranged on the sides of a triangle, right? Each resistance is R and R. Now here in this case A terminal is there, here in this case B terminal is there. Now across any one of the side what is the effective resistance? Across any one of the side that is any resistance. Now here in this case what is the current? I. Current is said to be I. Now at the junction current is going to divide therefore I1 and I2. That is I1, I1, here is also I1 and I1 is coming like this. Through this one current I1 is there and through this one that is I2 is there. I1 is coming here, I2 is coming here, both are combined to form here as a I. Therefore by observing these two, therefore this equation may be rearranged, this equation, this circuit may be rearranged like this, this circuit may be rearranged like this, this may be rearranged. Right now this is called R, R. Here these two are arranged in a series. Two equal resistances are connected in series. Therefore this will become as a 2R. Right now this is the terminal A. This is the terminal B. A. Right what is the current passing through the 2R? That is I1. What is the current passing through the R? That is I2. Here once again currents are different. Currents are different. Currents are distributed. They are said to be in parallel. Therefore, the effective resistance Rp is equals to R1 into R2 by that is R1 plus R2. Therefore, R1 is equals to what do you say 2R. R2 is equals to R by R1 is equals to 2R plus R. Therefore, what do you say 2R square by 3R, therefore both R gets cancelled, therefore Rp is equals to what to say 2 by 3R. The effective resistance is 2 by 3R.